Here we're working on the engine, putting on the oil pan gasket. Um, it's a good idea to put a little bit of silicon sealer of some sort in the corners where the gasket goes over the girdle at the, at the back and the front of the engine. That can be a, a spot that can leak. And when I put in the bolts for the oil pan to line them up with the gasket, I use a hook, hook tool or a little screwdriver to line up the holes of the hole next to where I'm putting the bolt in, and that, that helps me get it all squared away. I have the first torque step is just um, hand tight, and I believe it's three foot-pounds and then six foot-pounds. As you torque this oil pan down, this gasket compresses quite a lot, so you start with kind of a standard torque procedure, you know, the middle two bolts, and then you kind of zigzag back and forth, getting farther and farther away from the middle. And, uh, you know, I did it many times to make sure, because every time it would, you know, some of them would tighten down a little bit more. So I did it many times until they all met the, the right torque spec. And then I put in the oil pan plug and the turbo engine. This is the return from the turbocharger. Next is putting the crank main seal in place with a driver for and then the oil pump drive gear. On the balance shafts, the seals, there's a little plastic washer and then a metal sealing ring and then the actual seal itself. One of my metal sealing rings was not the right size. It was too small. It wouldn't fit on the balance shaft. So I ended up um, swapping it out for a spare that I had. For the seals for the balance shafts, they are directional. The lower balance shaft spins counterclockwise and the upper balance shaft spins clockwise. And the seals have little arrows on them to designate their direction. The water pump is relatively straightforward. I always put the gaskets on dry and then just torque it up, starting kind of in the center and working my way out for the torquing procedure. I took out two of the oil pump bolts to put on the, the belt cover. On goes one engine mount. Now I'm going to put on the oil to water heat exchanger. There's some gaskets and some little spacers. It's important to make sure that they fit right and it's all lined up. It took me a few tries before I was really happy with the way everything fit. I also thread in the oil pressure relief valve, just thread it in loosely before I torque everything down to make sure that it'll slide in and out. And then I remove the oil pressure relief valve, put on the O-ring, and then put it back in. And then do my final torque on the housing. And here's the other engine mount.